Okay, so I want a picture of a hot dog. I want a picture of a dog that is hot and sweaty. Okay, that's not really what I wanted. I actually wanted just a picture of a dog that was hot, so I'm gonna have to separate this. So imagine hot, colon, colon, dog. That's a bit more like it. That's a dog that is hot. Now it's not sweaty because dogs don't sweat, but you get the idea. In Mid Journey, if you're having trouble with prompts, words being combined together, you can actually separate words using the double colon feature. So you saw before I typed in imagine hot, colon, colon. This is separating the word hot from dog. And I'm able to use that to get some pretty cool results. Another thing you can do is also, sometimes it doesn't work as well as you'd like it to. But there is a pretty cool thing. If I type in a robot with human eyes, I want to show you how you can actually tweak your results even more. And we get this cool robot that has kind of human shaped eyes. But if I separate it and type in imagine robot colon colon with human eyes, see now how we get more human features. We still have some of the other robot there, but it's actually interpreted our prompt a little bit differently because we separated the word robot. So now imagine taking it a step further, I'm going robot with human and then eyes. And you notice now we've got even more human features in this in this picture because of the way we separated it. And you can continue to experiment and do all sorts of things. I can just say, and see now how we've actually got some eyes with this human and robot because we separated human from eyes. So what I'm actually gonna do now is take things a step further. We've been able to separate that prompt, but now we can actually use that exact same setup to you play with the word weight and get even different results again. So now if I go to imagine and paste in this prompt robot with human eyes, I'm gonna give the eyes, I'm gonna get, add two columns and give a number five at the end because I wanna give it a high word weight. So that, that way mid journey focuses on the word eyes more than anything else. Human, I'm gonna give a word weight of one and robot a word weight of three. So now we actually are emphasizing eyes and then robot and then human in that order of importance. So by adding this in, we can separate and then we can add numbers in order to add word weight to our prompts. So we can see what kind of results we get when we do that. And check out the emphasis on the eyes now. This one hasn't zoomed in on the eyes as much, but it's added more detail into them. While this one has really zoomed in on the eye and this one also, and it's given us something a little bit different. It's actually emphasized the eyes more. So that is essentially how the multi-prompt works in Mid Journey. Now there is some documentation on their website, which I will link to below, and it shows you essentially the idea behind how that works. It works with versions one, two, three, and four, and Niji. So obviously it doesn't seem to work with the test mode. But you can see here, we've, I've taken this example of the hot dog and the separation to hot and dog. And the same here they've done with the word cupcake illustration, where we have a cupcake here, but by separating the word cup, they've included a cup in the image. And then of course, you can separate it even further. So that gives you an idea and that rolls straight into word weights, which shows you how we can emphasize certain words by adding numbers next to them because the default weight is one. So this is a technically hot one dog one. And now we got hot two dog one because we don't need to actually put one in there to create that weight. So a pretty cool feature, a great way to get more control over your prompts and your images in mid journey is by using these multi prompts and prompt weights to control how Mid Journey reads your prompt and what it emphasizes more than other things. So that's a pretty handy tip and something that you wanna use if you wanna get better at creating imagery that you uh, wanna control a little bit more uh, when creating AI art. So I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, please consider giving it a like. Otherwise, if you enjoy the content, check out my channel. I've got a whole bunch of videos on Mid Journey as well as Photoshop and how to create a website and a whole bunch of other things. Check that out. And otherwise, uh, thanks for watching. And I hope you have a great day. See you next time.